All right. We are going to now prove if a parallelogram is a rhombus, then its diagonals are perpendicular to each other. A, B, C, D is our rhombus, and as I've already indicated from here, you can see that they're all congruent, which means all four sides are equal, which is what you normally have with a rhombus. This is our given, and what we're trying to prove is that the diagonals A, C, is perpendicular to BD. In other words, do we have a right angle up here? That's what we're going to try to find out. All right, first thing is, number one, is we have the parallelogram A, B, C, D is a rhombus. All right, that's uh, one that's given. Okay, next we know by the definition that A, C, A, B, D, C, and etc. all the way around are all congruent. So that's number two. This is A, segment A, B is congruent to segment, that's A, B, uh, B, C, and is equal to C, D, and then around to D, congruent to D, A. Okay, all the way around. And number two, that's by definition of a rhombus. We know that all four sides are equal in uh, length. Number three, we know also, since this is a parallelogram, which was already is part of our, our given, that from the that we know that these segments right here are bisect each other. That's a character property of parallelograms, which we have proven on an earlier date. So therefore, BE is congruent to ED, and AE, segment AE, is congruent to EC. All right, and that is because number three, diagonals of parallelograms bisect each other. Now, number four, we know that AE is congruent to itself. In fact, we said that here, and then here, here, and we also that AE is, a segment AE is congruent to segment AE because it is four reflect Okay, number five. Now we know that this triangle AEB is congruent to AED because we got the equal sides. These two sides are equal, and that obviously is common. So that's all done by side, side, side. So triangle AE, AEB is congruent to triangle AED. D because of 5 S S S. Okay, side, side, side. Now, we know that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary because they're along a, the common straight angle, okay? And they're adjacent angles. 6, so angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Because the six, they are supplementary. E N T A R Y. Seven. From that, we also know because of corresponding parts that angle one and angle two are congruent. Because we've already proven that these triangles were congruent, so they are corresponding parts. And C P. Now, our next step is is by a little of substitution. We can substitute 2 for 1 and therefore make this 2 angle 1's is equal to 180 degrees by 8 substitution. Substitution. U-T-I-O-N. And if I divide both sides by 2, 
we will end up with angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees. And I just said there, I divided that, divided it by 2. And then number uh, 10, likewise, if angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees, then angle 2 has to be, because again, by substitution or transitive, either one would be, uh, would do, but we'll just go ahead and use substitution. Uh, number 10, S by substitution, U-T-I-T-O-N, okay? And so if both of these angles are 90 degrees, then by definition, 11, AC is, oops, AC is perpendicular to BD, and that's 11, and that's by definition of perpendicular perpendicular and we have now therefore proven that if a parallelogram is a rhombus rhombus then its diagonals are perpendicular to each other